boys and girls. Today we're going to continue with our Cam Jansen book, but first we're going to go over to our new spelling words. All right, we're still dealing with the O sound. All right, so we have, first of all, we have short O, our ah sound. So we have stomp, drop, flop, a nice ah sound. And then this week we actually have three different ways of spelling the long O sound. We have O consonant E, phone, choke, rose. We have OA, like last week, loan, moan, boast, boast means to brag. And then we have OW, flow, blow, shown. Okay, so again, we have ah, stomp, drop, flop, and then three different ways of making the long O sound. O consonant E, phone, choke, rose, OA, loan, moan, boast, and O-W, flow, blow, shown. All right, let's talk about our vocabulary words. All right, exchange, remember it means to give and to get, you kind of swap. A mystery, realistic fiction, that it has a setting, it has plot, it has characters, but normally in the plot, the problem, there's something mysterious that you have to puzzle your way through. Competition, when someone is, when there's a competition, two people are going against each other and there's gonna be a winner. Persistent, to keep going and never get up, give up. Twist, that tool that an author uses to kind of keep you hanging on, to keep you turning that page, something that you absolutely don't expect. And then our new word today is observation. An observation is something that um, a detective has to use. They have to use all of their skills to really pay attention to things. So if you're using your skills of observation, you are watching, you are listening, you are really focused in on the details so that you can figure out what's going on. So let's find out what's going on in our story. All right, today we're gonna to continue with Cam Jansen, The Mystery Writer Mystery by David Adler. Chapter six. Two cars were stolen from the school lot, Cam said. I have to tell mom. Wait, Eric said. First, listen to what the police told us. He said he would call in the license number and the description of our car. The police will look for it, but he said they may not find dad's car. Wow. Dad's dry cleaning, a few shirts, his good suit is in the trunk. Donna's and Diane's ice skates are also in the trunk. Wait here, Cam said. I'll tell mom what happened. She said I have to stay in the gym, but I can't stay here with so much happening outside. I'll go with you, Eric said. I'll tell her we need you to find dad's car. Cam and Eric went to the history book table. Look at this, Mrs. Jensen, Mrs. Jansen said to them. This is a book all about Benjamin Franklin. Did you know he made the first bifocal glasses? Mom, Cam said. Mr. Shelton's car was stolen. I want to help look for it. Oh my, Mrs. Jansen said to Eric. Your father should call the police. He already spoke with the police. They said they'll do what they can. Mrs. Jansen told Eric, we can give you a ride home. Please, Cam said. Maybe I can help find the car. Let me go with Eric. Mrs. Jansen returned the book about Benjamin Franklin to the table. I'll go with you, she told Cam. I'll make sure you don't do anything dangerous. And if you go outside, I want you to be sure to put on your raincoat and hat. Cam returned her three, my name is Mr. Blake Mysteries, to the table by the entrance to the gym. Jimmy Winter walked past them. I'm finished, he told Dr. Prell. There's no one left in line. The principal introduced the writer to officers Gray and Oppen. And here's a picture of them all meeting. I read your books when I was a child, Officer Gray said. I read them to my children now, Officer Oppen told Mr. Winter. Officer Gray was a tall woman with curly black hair. Officer Oppen was not so tall and had a short beard. Cam, Eric, and Mrs. Jansen joined them. Hello, Officer Oppen said to Cam. Then he laughed, blinked his eyes, and said, Click! I know this girl, he told his partner. She's smart. She's got a great memory. That's very nice, the taller officer said, but we must get going. Officer Gray reached into her pocket and took out a set of keys. Are you left-handed, Cam asked. Yes, I am, but how did you know? You keep your keys in your left pocket, Cam explained. That's very interesting, Officer Gray said, but we really, we must go. Cam closed her eyes. She said, click. Then with her eyes still closed, she said, and Mr. Pace, are you right-handed? Yes, I am, Danny's father said. 
I know that, Cam said, with her eyes still closed, because when Jimmy Winter asked for your keys, you first reached into your right pocket. But the keys weren't there, Mr. Pace said. No, Cam said, they were in your left pocket. Right pocket, left pocket, Officer Gray said. Let's go, we have reports to file. Cam opened her eyes. You're right-handed, Cam told Danny's father, so you would have put your keys in your right pocket. But I think someone took your keys out of your pocket and then put them back. The thief, Mr. Pace asked. Yes, Cam said. I think he took off your car key, then he put your keys back. He used the key to steal your car. Mr. Pace took his keys out of his right pocket. There were several keys on his key ring. He checked them all. You're right, he said. My car key is missing. Mr. Shelton took out his key ring and looked at it. Hey, he said, my car key is also missing. What does all this mean, Jimmy Winter asked. It means, Cam said, that the thief came into the school. He went into room 17, stole the keys, and then stole the cars. And here at the end of our chapter is a picture of all the people talking about it. But wow, Cam is most definitely using her powers of observation. Um, her, she thinks her mom will let her participate now because now there's two cars missing. And, and mom does say she can participate and help, but mom says I'm coming with you because obviously she wants to keep Cam safe. Um, the police are all excited to see Mr. Winter. Why? Well, because Mr. Winter's been writing books for a long time. And so they used to read his books when they were a kid. Now they read them to their kids. So kind of a cool thing, right? And then the position of the car keys has become a very important thing. Cam used her powers of observation to notice that the people kept reaching for their car keys and they were in the wrong pocket. And so that led her to, the, to figure out that it was actually the key itself that has been stolen. So they were stealing cars by using the keys, which is actually, if you're a criminal, I guess a pretty smart plan. But anyway, tune in tomorrow and we'll find out what happens in the next chapter. Thanks for listening.